Don't interrupt me. I'm praying. But you called me. Called you? I didn't call you. I was praying. Our Father who art in heaven. There, you did it again. Did what? Called me. You said, Our Father who art in heaven. Here I am. What's on your mind? But I didn't mean anything by it. I was, you know, just saying my prayers for the day. I always say the Lord's Prayer. Makes me feel good. Sort of like getting a job done. All right. Go on. Hallowed be thy name. Hold it. What do you mean by that? Well, by what? By hallowed be thy name. It means, it means, good grief. How should I know what it means? It's just part of the prayer. By the way, what does it mean? <laughs> it means honored, holy, wonderful. Oh, that makes sense. I never thought about what hallowed meant before. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Do you really mean that? Of course, why not? What are you going to do about it? Do? Nothing, I suppose. I just think it'd be rather good if you got to control things down here the way you have up there. Have I got control of you? Well, I go to church. That isn't what I ask you. What about that bad temper? You really got a problem there, you know. Stop picking on me. I'm just as good as some of those hypocrites that go to church. Excuse me, but I thought you were praying for my will to be done. If that is to happen, it will have to start with the ones who are praying for it, like you, for example. Oh, all right. I guess I do have a few hang-ups. Now that you mention it, I could probably name some others. So could I. <laughs> I haven't thought about it much until now, but I really would like to cut out some of those things. I really would like to know how to be free. Good. Now we're getting somewhere. We'll work together, you and I. Some real victories can be won. I'm proud of you. Look, Lord, I need to finish up here. This is taking a lot longer than it usually does. <laughs> Give us this day our daily bread. You need to cut out the bread. You're a little overweight as it is. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What is this? Here I am doing my religious duty, and all of a sudden you break in and remind me of my fault. Praying is a dangerous thing. <laughs> you could end up changed, you know. That's what I'm trying to bring across to you. You called me, and here I am. It's too late to stop now. Keep on praying. I'm interested in the next part of your prayer. Well, go on. I'm scared to. Scared of what? I know what you'll say. Try me and see. Forgive us our debts as we have also forgiven our debtors. Well, what about Peter Brown? See, I knew you'd bring him up. <laughs> Why, Lord, the lies he told about me and he cheated, on, cheated me out of some money. I swear I'll get even with him. <laughs> but your prayer. What about your prayer? I didn't mean it. <laughs> well, at least you're honest. But it's not much fun carrying around that load of bitterness inside, is it? No, but I'll feel better as soon as I get even. Have I got some plans for old Peter? <laughs> you won't feel any better as soon as as soon as soon uh, you get even. Wait a minute, I lost my place, folks. Hold on. You won't feel any better. You'll feel worse. Revenge isn't sweet. Think of how unhappy you really are. But I'll change all that. You will? How? Forgive Peter. Then I'll forgive you. Then the hate and sin will be Peter's problem and not yours. You may lose the money, but you will have settled your heart. Well, it doesn't sound easy. But deep down, I know it would be worth the effort. Thank you, Lord, for helping me work through this. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Amen.